For the last 10 years, we've been lucky to work with visionary founders behind the world's best loved brands. And to the next generation of founders and builders, we can't wait to meet you. We've even tapped some friends to share their best advice for starting up. I would give this thought to any entrepreneur starting a business. The purpose that you're trying and striving to create in the world by, by forming this business, you need to really believe in it authentically. Because the, the daily work of building a company and how long it takes to build something special cannot be underestimated. I think for me, the best business advice is about chasing all your passions. Yard by yard, life is hard. Inch by inch, life's a cinch. And the idea behind that is just to break your biggest goals up into smaller pieces. And when you do that, things seem a lot more accessible. It really helps you accomplish um, sort of these big dreams and goals that you set for yourself. You have to love the struggle and you have to be um, just as engaged and excited about the down periods as the up periods. If you do that and you treat that and you believe in what you're doing and you treat, treat it as something that is um, a process that makes you get better and learn and grow, um, that you'll have a great experience running the startup. My advice would be to completely listen to your instincts and trust your gut um, and not let anything really steer you away from it. Because at the end of the day, like that's your vision, what, that's what you set out to do. It's important when you're building a startup and you're building a company to move fast. As, as some companies have said, move fast and break things. But at the same time, you wanna think about what systems are we putting in place? And are we setting ourselves up for uh, challenges later on that are unnecessary? And so I think if I went back, I would tell myself, build fast, have a, a high degree of urgency, but also build for the long term. You know, I think in the early days, uh, it's really just go for it. You know, the, take big swings. When you're doing a risk calculation, just lean into the things that could be bold moves and have tried to keep that with us uh, throughout our, our time since day one at Casper all the way through today. Biggest lesson that I've learned from building Morby Parker is just that what matters most is people. Um, hiring smart, dynamic people that you can trust and rely on, but most importantly, that are going to lift up others that are going to hire great people, motivate great people, and build a culture that can lead to sustainable growth. When you agree to do something, you're actually saying no to other more productive things you could be doing. So trust that when you say no, you're making room for greater opportunities that are more aligned with your goals and say no more often. Perfect is the, is the enemy of done. Um, we constantly try to put things out and, and use the best available information we can to drive to our decisions. But oftentimes we're, we're wrong and that's fine. The sort of resolution around that is, is taking in that feedback, iterating quickly and going back. Ignore the naysayers. Focus on what you think you're doing, why it matters, and focus on people who get it. Don't worry about everybody else, they'll come later. Keep building, and we can't wait to meet you. Dada, what are you doing? I'm just hanging out and making a video for work. <laughs>